ओके फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सर्क्यूलर मोशन ओके वट एग्जैक्टली इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सर्क्यूलर मोशन सी इट्स वेरी सिंपल वेन ए बॉडी मूव इन ए सर्क्यूलर पाथ और ए पार्ट ऑफ सर्क्यूलर पाथ द बॉडी इज सेट टू बी इन सर्क्यूलर मोशन दट मीन्स अगर कोई बॉडी पूरा सर्कल घूम रही है तो वो ऑलरेडी सर्कुलर मोशन में ही है लेकिन अगर वो पूरा सर्कल ना घूम के सिर्फ उसका एक आर्क कवर करती है देन आल्सो द बॉडी इज सेट टू बी इन सर्कुलर मोशन ओके दिस इज सर्कुलर मोशन द बॉडी मूव्स ऑन ए कंप्लीट सर्कल दिस इज आल्सो सर्कुलर मोशन बिकॉज द बॉडी इज मूविंग ऑन ए पार्ट ऑफ द सर्कल वेन यू आर टेकिंग ए टर्न ऑन द रोड ओके यू आर टेकिंग नाइनटी डिग्री टर्न नाउ यू कैनॉट टेक ए वेरी शार्प नाइनटी डिग्री टर्न लाइक दिस okay you cannot take a turn like this your turn has to be gradual that means you will turn like this at that part when you are taking the turn again you will be in circular motion okay now uh, i have traced uh, the, this circle the radius of this circle is r and this is o o is the center of this circle okay what i am talking about i am talking about this physical quantity which is known as angular displacement angular displacement this is a new quantity just like speed is defined as distance upon time you know what is the definition of angle angle ki definition hoti hai arc upon radius it is what arc upon radius so if this is the uh, initial point from where the body starts its motion and this is the final point where the body ends its motion then the arc that is traced by the body will be this this is s okay and what is the radius Rad radius is r and so this is the angle theta what angle theta will be angle theta will be equal to arc upon radius theek hai this is the angle covered by theek hai generally hum aisa nahi bolte angle covered by generally we say angle swept angle swept ठीक है डिस्टेंस के लिए हमेशा बोलते हैं डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाय ए बॉडी एंगल्स के लिए बोलते हैं एंगल्स स्वेप्ट बाय ए बॉडी सो फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर द एंगल स्वेप्ट बाय बॉडी इज थीटा एंड इफ दिस मोशन टेक्स प्लेस यहां से यहां तक का सर्कुलर मोशन इफ इट टेक्स प्लेस इन टाइम टी इन टाइम टी देन थीटा अपॉन टी इज नोन एज ओमेगा That means angular velocity. ठीक है Theta is what? Theta is the angle swept. अच्छा Theta is again a vector quantity. Angular displacement कहा है मैंने इसको angular distance नहीं कहा Why? Because this is a vector quantity. Now if Theta is a vector quantity, what is the direction of Theta? If this Theta is a vector quantity, what is direction of Theta? angular displacement how to find the direction of angular displacement very simple use your right hand the circle is this the motion the circular motion is like this it is anti clockwise move your fingers in anti clockwise direction and extend the thumb the thumb points in outward direction so the direction of angular displacement is also outwards shown by a dot now if the motion is taking place anti clockwise okay like in this diagram the motion is taking place anti clockwise move the fingers in anti clockwise sense extend the thumb of right hand the thumb shows inwards that means the direction of this angular displacement alpha is cross which means it is inside all right so what is circular motion when the body moves in a circular path or even a part of that circular path we said the body is in circular motion all right what is angular displacement it is the angle swept in unit time what is angular displacement uh, sorry uh, angular displacement is uh, uh, simply this the angle swept angular velocity is angle swept per unit time theek hai okay ab ek choti si cheez aur is video mein discuss karunga main that is angular velocity angular speed maine aapko bataya tha angular omega is equals to theta by t what exactly is this see by definition omega is equals to d theta by dt by definition omega is equals to d theta by dt what is theta theta is arc upon radius theta is arc upon radius so instead of theta i am writing s upon r 
Okay, now when the body is moving on this circle, is the radius of body changing? Radius change nahi hota. So radius is constant. So radius ko kya karenge hum? Differentiation ke bahar le jayenge. So this is 1 by r ds by dt. Now see what is ds by dt? ds that is change in distance. What is dt? Change in time. What is change in distance upon change in time? It is equals to linear velocity. Okay, this is equals to linear velocity. So what is omega? Omega is equals to V by R or you can write V is equals to R omega. Okay, now omega is equals to V by R. This is scalar ke liye likho sahi hai. But when you want to convert this into a vector equation, you this balloon mein jo ab equation hai, usse vector banana chate ho. You cannot make it. Why you cannot make it? Because radius is going to be a vector quantity and vectors can never be written in denominator. So, this equation ko thoda sa change karna padega. Just transpose this r onto the other side. This becomes v equals to r omega. But again, see, this equation is also not vector equation. I can have two different choices. I can convert this into vector equation in two different ways. One is V is equals to R cross omega cross lagana padega hiya pe because tino quantities vector quantities hai and when you multiply two quantities with cross product only then you will get a vector quantity dot se multiply nahi karte kisse multiply karte cross se. So one possibility is this V is equals to R cross omega. The other can be this V is equals to omega cross R. Ab in dono mein se one is correct, one is incorrect. How to find it? Okay, let us come back to this circle. We try this V is equals to R cross omega. Yane R cross omega ka jo direction hai, wahi V ka direction hona chahiye. Let us see hai ke nahi. Yaha pe is point par this is the direction of radius. Isko bhi vector bana dete hai. This is direction of uh, speed and this is direction of omega. Right? So first, R cross omega karta hu. Take your right hand. Place them in direction of radius. So radius is like this. Main apne haat ko radius ki taraf rakha. And now I am going to curl my fingers towards direction of omega. That is outside. So I have to keep my hand like this. And I have to curl my fingers in this direction that is like this. The thumb will show this direction. That means R cross omega is in this direction. But the velocity is in fact in the opposite direction. So, this will be wrong here. Now, let's check it. V is equal to omega cross R. So, first, take your right hand. Keep your right hand in direction of omega. Where is omega? Omega is outside like this. Now curl the fingers towards direction of radius. This is the radius. So keeping the hands like this, curving in the direction of radius. Radius ki taraf meri fingers ja rahi hai. Okay. And the thumb will show the direction of velocity. That is this. Is this the direction of velocity? Yes. So this is the correct vector relation between linear velocity, angular velocity and radius. Okay. This was the first video on circular motion.